Hello. Okay, let's create a 3D object from a picture or a texture in Nomad Sculpt. Okay. Use a photo of a wing. For this example, I use a wing, but every picture works. Okay, it's useful to have a white background to create a PNG with a transparent background. Here in Procreate, this is the wing. I trimmed off the white background and you can adjust this picture a little bit. Here you can bring in other parts of the feathers to get a nice texture. It's also possible to adjust the, the alpha a little bit. It's the same picture only in black and white because the white parts appear uh, yes, a little bit higher in Nomad Sculpt when you use it as an alpha. And then you can adjust it here a little bit. But it's Yes, you can uh, do this tutorial with a normal picture. Uh, use only the wing and export it with a transparent background as a PNG file. Okay, let's go to Nomad Sculpt and the, yes, the result is a wing like this. Let's create a new file. We use the stamp tool and you can apply it on every primitive you want. But for a wing it's, it's useful to use a, a sphere because the wing is a little bit curved. You can also use a plane. Okay, I reset the view wire. Let's use dynamic topology and use a higher detail rate and the stamp tool. Here upload your, your wing to the texture. Use a white, white color and the paint intensity. Use a higher paint, paint intensity because for the stroke intensity, we use a very low stroke intensity. Okay. Here you can adjust the roughness. Let's create it rough. And here, stroke settings, use a flat fall off. And here, import the same photo from your wing. or the, the picture from Procreate. That's, I think that's all. And I'm using show planes in the symmetry, but I don't use the symmetry, turn it off the symmetry. But it's, it's very useful to find the center of the mesh again. Here you see uh, um, the insert point and now we can test it one time and when you have to reapply the texture you find the same point again. Okay, then we need a layer, add a layer and here I go back when the intensity is real high and I do this, you get a result like this. And intensity very low like this. We want, uh, we want it more like, like this. Okay, and sculpt only one wing.
because the poly count is important for the UV map. And in the layers, now you can extract the, the shell. And I use a shell thickness of minus 0 0.005. And let's test it. Border smoothness is max and extract it. Now you get something like this. And it's possible now to remesh the whole thing. Use a high resolution. Like this. Okay. And now it's possible to yes to paint or to rearrange or smudge some some parts here, and it's possible to to sculpt. We can use the inflate tool. And with a smooth tool, when you use it, uh, turn off sm painting smooth. Turn it off. Symmetry we don't need. And uh, you can always remesh it. And use inflate a little bit more. And smooth it. Or move brush or something. You can sculpt with it. But don't voxel remesh it or trim something off because then the UV map is gone. And with a smudge, now let's. Adjust the colors a little bit. Like this. <coughs> and now let's use. Um, we don't need the layer anymore. Let's use the smooth tool and intensity low intensity and painting don't smooth the painting a little bit of higher intensity and smooth everything a little bit You can use uh, the smooth brush with grab dynamic radius and smooth it a little bit. Okay, I think it's fine. With a gizmo, it's, it's possible to adjust the wing a little bit, scale it and bring it in in another position, but it's okay, I think. And now let's look. This is only for version 166. In the decimation, decimate it down and preserve painting. Now, now it's fine. And unwrap the UV map.
Let's wait a little bit. Okay. And now it's possible to bake the vertex painting. Bake vertex painting. And when you use multi-resolution, you can subdivide it again. And res here you see show plane front. But <laughs> yes, yes, we we scaled the the wing a little bit with a gizmo. But it's possible to use the, the stamp tool again. Turn off the symmetry and reapply the texture. When you use the same point, but we scaled the, the wing a little bit and it's not possible. And then you can reapply the texture with a higher resolution. Okay. And now it's possible to decimate the object down like this 18,000 and you get a nice wing. Okay, when you use, um, when you need two wings, you can clone the wing. And here in the gizmo matrix, you can use a minus to mirror it. No, it's correct. And now you got two wings and you can simple merge or join this object. Now you got two nice wings. And they look like this. Post processing. Yes. That's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.